Hello and welcome to the Projects Using Ruby on Rails course. My name is Brad Travisy. I'll be your instructor for this series. I just wanted to quickly go over what this course includes. Uh, it's a project-based course building websites and applications using the Ruby on Rails framework. Okay, there'll be five chapters and there'll be one project per chapter. There'll be five to nine sections per chapter and there's about one to three videos per section usually one but sometimes we'll have two and three so what should you know before taking this course uh, I'm not gonna say that you absolutely have to know all of these but uh, it would really help if you knew at least the basics uh, of programming fundamentals basically the core components that most computer languages include which are variables arrays loops conditionals uh, things like that HTML and CSS you don't have to be a professional designer, uh, but it would help if you know how to at least build a, a simple website or web page using HTML and CSS. Uh, obviously, that, that those are the building blocks of the web, and ultimately, that's what Ruby on Rails is going to create. MVC, Model View Controller, if you don't know this design pattern, that's okay. Uh, you can kind of learn as we go along. Basically, this, this design pattern helps us keep programming logic away from presentation. Okay, so models take care of database or data. Uh, views take care of what the user sees, templates, things like that. And controller basically is the router. It, it, it reads the URL and decides where that's supposed to point to. Okay, so the technology and concepts in this course, uh, we have HTML5 and CSS, again model view controller, uh, RVM, which stands for Ruby Version Manager, that's what we're going to use to install Ruby, uh, Ruby Gems, okay, gems are a huge part of Rails, basically they're little, uh, little programs or extensions or modules, uh, whatever you want to call them, uh, and they're very helpful. CRUD operations and methods. By CRUD, I mean create, read, update, and delete. Okay, so all our Rails applications will include resources, whether it's pages or blog posts or uh, events or whatever. Uh, we should be able to perform these operations on them. The Linux command line, don't worry if you don't know anything about that. Um, everything's going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to use Ubuntu to develop, uh, which is a really popular Linux platform. Um, MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQLite are the three most popular databases to use with Rails. Um, and we'll be taking a look at all three of those. RESTful routing, so basically Rails uses RESTful routing. Uh, it reads the HTTP requests and it, it'll route to uh, the needed page based on that. Um, testing, okay, so with Rails you can have test driven development. Uh, we'll look, we'll go a little into that. Um, and that's, those are the main things. Of course, there's other topics and concepts we'll touch on, but these are the main concepts uh, that we're going to focus on in this course. So our five projects, okay, the first is going to be a bookstore, which uh, We'll have uh, books, categories, authors, publishers. Those will be our main resources. And we'll be able to grab the books from a MySQL database and display them. And we'll also, we'll also be able to add books, add categories, as well as authors and publishers, uh, all from the front end. We're not going to implement a login system for that particular application, uh, just to save time. Uh, chapter 2, the R blog blogging system will have a, a login or a user system where they can log into the back end to uh, create blog posts and categories. Um, let's see, R gallery. Okay, so we'll create an image gallery using Rails. Uh, we'll use a little bit of jQuery too for effects such as the light box, and we'll have an overlay effect when you hover over an image. And we'll also be able to create categories and images from the front end. Chapter four will be a content management system, and we'll be using Active Admin, which is uh, a really great gem for for Rails, where 
uh, it'll provide us with an admin interface to create, uh, read, update, and delete resources. And in Chapter 5, we'll create uh, a full e-commerce website using the Spree gem. Uh, Spree is, is basically a full-featured open source shopping cart. Uh, so we'll be doing that. We'll customize it. Um, we'll link uh, PayPal so that users can pay with PayPal. All right, things like that. So those are our five projects. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, and I will see you in the first project. Thanks.